They also have a little campground, Vagerville, that little park I was at. They have washrooms at the main building, but they also have little outhouses here. And I like to inform anybody that's in a wheelchair, they fit in. The only problem I had is I, I couldn't turn my chair around, but it fits in the door. And, uh, you know, they also have... Uh, water over there and they also have a uh, if you have to empty your your junk right there and they got that so yeah and i'm not sure if they charge they might but the season's not open yet so yeah but right now it doesn't seem like it'd be a bad place to stop if you're driving through and there you got fresh water Woohoo! so there's so much information if you want to find out more about this place here you go, town of Vagerville and the egg. There's so many plaques, I don't think I can get all the info. So do a little bit of research, but yeah. And everything's closed, so I can't tell you if it costs to stay here or not. And yes, train, a little caboose. Yes, before I forget, if you come here, well, there's a train track that goes right out the front door there, so, yeah. So if, you're, if you need lots of quiet, I don't know if this would be a good place. <laughs> if you can see that but there's a bird over there a nice long tail feather yeah there you go I believe that's a moon. Could be wrong. It just looks like it looks like it has a sharp beak. Hasn't made any sounds or it could be a duck, I'm not sure, but I thought it might be a loon. Anyways, it sure is pretty. I hope you can read this. I thought this to be very interesting and true. Especially at the times that we're going through right now. Hope you all have a great day.